Julius AI, it's the data analysis that I needed before I closed one of my business. Why am I saying this? Because it could have saved me from opening the business that I didn't fully understand. It could have analyzed the data that I already had to tell me if I jumped into the business or not. So let's go check out Julius AI so you understand how it works and if it's the right fit for you. So let's get started. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Julius and you can get started right now with a free plan. So definitely sign up and test it out for yourself. Now you can use this to analyze any type of data, including world development indicators, including something for your business, and it will give you the data in plain English for you to understand. Plus, you can follow through and give it more information to get better results. So it's definitely a super system. It's like having an analysis in your pocket. So let's get started. This is my main dashboard for Julius, and we can get started with threads or notebooks. In this case, I want to show you how easy it is to use threads to start analyzing the data. All right. Now, the first thing that Julius needs is show data. What do you want to import into this? Now, in this case, I wanted to analyze my business that I used to have. Maybe if I would have used a Julius before starting the business, I might not have jumped into it because it would have gave me the data analysis that I need. Maybe. All right. Now, in this case, what we need to do is load in data. So in this case, I'm going to click on the plus button and you have several options to upload your data either through a file upload, which you can upload CSVs, Excels, uh, zip files, images, etc., and it'll read it for you and start analyzing the data. You can use Google Drive, OneDrive, etc., or the connection to data sources. In this case, I'm going to do a file upload. I'm going to upload this Excel file, which is a business Excel that I made where I have like the equipment purchases, the disposables, the uh, cost per beverages, etc. Just some basic details for the business. Now, in this case, it already read the Excel here. I can upload more details into this, more data if I want. And then I want to select the model that I want to use. Now, in this case, you have the option to use Julius, which would automatically select the model depending on the complexity of the question that you're going to ask or select the model that you want to select by default here. So O3 from, from ChatGPT, Cloud4, uh, GPT 4.0, etc. 4.1. In this case, I want to use O3 from ChatGPT. Then I have the option to create charts. Now, what type of charts do I want or do I don't want any charts? So don't or no theme. In this case, I'm going to use this interactive one. So let's go ahead and select that one. And then we have the option to use advanced reasoning, which in this case, we don't need it for the beginning. If this was more advanced data, I would enable this, but this one is just basic. And then we have the option for extended memory. This will use the history of recent chats while working on the task. Again, this is a brand new chat. I'm not going to use history for this. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So now I have my prompt sending it off to Julius. It's going to analyze the data and it's going to let me know if I need to provide in more details in order for me to give me the uh, provide even the break even in this case. And let's give it a few seconds for this to work. Now you can see now that it's even using Python to generate this and it tells me what this code is actually doing. So I can view this. I can view the table from here. I can select rows if I need to. And I can view the other views here for the different type of tabs in that table. Plus, I get more details here. So here are the three worksheets exactly as they appear in the file. So it's just read the data. It haven't it hasn't done anything. But in this case, it's asking me, what can we already see? So from this, we can see that is a one off investment for it's all the equipment prices on this, the bulk purchases of disposable inputs, the beverages, the monthly fixed costs. So the rent, utilities, payroll, software, etc. It's already here. And it already has a little like warning here, the selling prices, they are not available here. So I need to provide that. Luckily, I have the picture of the menu. So I'm going to provide that here so it can analyze the cost and the selling price so it can generate that breaking point. Okay, so here's the menu. Let me go ahead and tell it in the uh, prompt here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and send this off. And Julius is going to do his job. All right, so it's going to read this menu, which is in an image. And it's going to bring in those prices. It's going to analyze it and do its job. So let's get a few seconds. Okay. So here we go. It now read that image, turn it into text that Julius can read. And it's working in the next steps, which will help me with the uh, breaking even point. And then it ran Python. And here we go. So here's a clear roadmap from raw numbers to answers you need. So here's the raw numbers. Just telling me the, the prices for the small drink and the large drink. And then we got some details that we need. So break even. So including the fixed cost and divided by margin. So if I just sold Americanos, that means I would need to sell 40 of these per day for 30 days. 
So that's not a big amount. So that means it's, it's roughly, it's doable for a starting business. And if this, if this was frat based, well, the margin is higher. That means I need to sell less in order to break even. And that means I need to sell 24 of these, which is pretty realistic, right? So mixed sell scenario. And here we go. So if assuming you sell 60% of one, 40% of the other, and it's giving me just more details here. This is a fantastic analysis that is providing me. And this is just touching the surface of what Julius can do. Then we got suggestions here. Do I want to estimate monthly sales volume needed? Analyze impact of price changes. So if there's fluctuation, how is that going to impact the business? Or identify most profitable drinks. So in this case, I want to I estimate the monthly sales volume needed. So again, let's let Julius do his job. All right, so here we go. We got the results. And this is a what if. Right. So what if a certain scenario happens and you can see break even volume equals forty five thousand three hundred ninety eight divided by margin. So here we go. The average menu price per drink, then a margin cups per month and the cups per day. So this is what I need to sell. So what does it mean? So if your typical ticket is around 60 pesos, in this case, you need around 800 drinks per month. All right. So that's 26 drinks per day to cover rent, payroll, utility, software and taxes. Remember, that's just to break even all right so let me go ahead and ask it something more complex and let's use advanced reasoning okay here we go sending this off and letting julius work for a bit so let's get a few seconds okay so i just got the results advanced reasoning is kicking in in this case so here we go it used python to do its job and it's using this to calculate and visualize numbers drinks needed to break even based on the varying average selling prices okay and here we go here is a break even what if table and two visualizations we just generated okay so this is a what if one and here we got our first graph which is break even drinks per month versus average selling price and here we go so cups needed per month and the average selling price so here we go and daily drinks needed to break even cups needed per day and average selling price so here we go we got those details what numbers and charts tell us and here's the details for each one of these again go through these with calm and you'll get the results that you actually need and again we're going to get more suggestions the estimated impact of a higher price, analyze effects of lower wages, suggest marketing strategies to increase sales, which I think would be really interesting to hear what is going to analyze from the details that I provided and what it's going to suggest. So you can see how powerful Julius can be by analyzing the data. It's like having a data analysis working for you, but way less expensive by using something like Julius. So we're going to get all these details available here with the marketing strategy that is going to provide us here. And again, we can go through this and get more suggestions and go through it, which I think is super awesome. Now, things that you can do while working here on Julius is you can add more files. You can change the model. You can change the data style here for the graph, activate or deactivate the advanced reasoning, extend the memory. You also have this gear icon for the chat settings where you can change details here. If you don't want to view the code, you just want the details. Go ahead and turn this off. Maybe those just Maybe it's not relevant for you. Go ahead and turn that off. You got web search to enable and several details, expand resources, customize Julius, the chart themes, secret keys, etc. things that you can do here, right? You can share this. So if you want to make this public or share it, that is possible with this option. You can view your connections here and you also have the option to use the other tools here on Julius, which is the notebook option. Notebooks work kind of a style as a workflow where we can work in the past, in the middle, at the end, and we can embed and add details into it and run it when you are ready. For example, let me give you an, uh, an idea here. So this is the notebook that's kicked in, right? And we have a blocks. In this case, there's sections that we can work in between these sections before we actually run it. So for example, this is a block that I can modify if I need to, or I can add a cell to this and add details to it. So for example, here's a cell and I can add details to it. For example, a prompt and run it, or I can do a source, a user input, code, text, etc. Or I can also add code to this and it will run a code. So here we go. And I can also add text. So if I need to add some comments into this some embed some videos, etc., links on all that, I can do so through this. And there's details where you can jump to the beginning, to the end, to the middle. And, and notebooks really helps you in that sense. Instead of the traditional chat, this one that will let you work in every single step of the way and you can run it when you are good to go. So definitely check out notebooks here. And there's also the files where every file that you upload is going to be available. You got your inbox. You can explore notebooks that are already available here that you can start using right away. 
There's also documentation. There's the community forum, which is highly recommended that you jump into there, especially when you start using Julius, because you are going to get a lot of feedback from other users here on Julius, something that you don't find normally in other similar systems where there's no community at all. In this case, there is. And there's the model labs that you can start using right there, right? And then I would highly recommend that you jump into your data connectors. And if you are using any of these systems, go ahead and connect to it because it's going to save you a lot of time. So definitely check out Julius and start using right away. And don't forget that they have a free plan that you can start using right now. And if you're good to go, jump into the paid plans. Don't forget that, that I will provide the link in the description for Julius if you want to check it out. And that's a wrap.